So welcome to this week's vlog. Um, me and Pauline on another adventure. Uh, and this is our starting ground. So for those of you that have watched last week's video, you'll already know that we are in the Langdales, um, in the Lake District, and we had an incredible sunrise. That's where last week's vlog started. Um, this week, what we're doing is we are walking up to the top of here, following the ridge line all the way around, around to Angleton. Yes, so we're going to go all the way around to Angleton over here, which is going to be tonight's sleep. And then from Angleton, we're going to come up onto the Langdale Pikes and then back down into the valley to then up to Bleetan to where we've parked. Um, and it's going to be good. So stay tuned. It's going to be a bit of photography. It's more about the adventure side. Um, and I used my water purifier. But first thoughts, if you're a climber, you're going to love this. Tastes fine. Don't feel like I'm going to be sick either. in hand. Thank you Pauline. Uh, time to just sit and enjoy the view because it's beautiful. We're gonna have a little spot of breakfast as well um, but won't bore you with the details of that. Um, so I'll put you onto a little bit of a time lapse and you can just enjoy the view too. So just about to set off up to um, Pike of Blasinko. Pike of Blasinko. Definitely murdering that. But check out this. We got a mist bow. Maybe called a mist bow, but if it's not called a mist bow, I'm taking it. My creation, a mist bow. How cool is that? But yep, the um, Pike of Blasinko is up at the top up here. And that is our next point of call. I'll see you up there. So unfortunately, you missed the sweaty messes that arrived at the top, <laughs> but we were not the only ones to arrive up here. But the views are just as good as I thought they would be. Blisco, Blisco, <laughs> I'm going with Blisco. Look at this, check this out. As soon as the mist disappeared, the people arrived. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Sorry, Cumbria is for everyone. <laughs> I just prefer it when I'm on my own. Not completely. <laughs> but, after here, we're going over to this fell and then finishing on Crinkle Fell up there for a spot of lunch. And uh, that'll probably be about one, two o'clock, I reckon, for a spot of lunch, a late lunch. And then down to Angleton to chill out for the rest of the afternoon and maybe even a swim oh, maybe that'd be great. it would be good wouldn't it nice swim in the sand because it's hot i don't know if i mentioned this it's like really really hot <laughs> it's hot isn't it very hot super hot anyway We've creamed up sun's creamed up yes look at that still got white <laughs> patches they're not red yet um but yeah today so far massive success definitely suggest to anyone to do this route and at the end what I'll do is I'll leave a little sort of map and a line of where we went so you guys can see because you know it's useful anyway let's carry on with this walk 
Peace. Might sit here for a little bit longer though. It's quite nice. <laughs>
Mm. It feels very warm. We might not find a water source other than this wet, but we will find something. Anyway, I'll see you at the top, peeps. Bye. Time for a spot of food, I think. Whew, been a long day so far, but we're almost there. Almost there. And the plan was to eat this food hot, but we noticed that some of them say okay to eat cold. Definitely check, definitely worth checking. It is so hot today. So I've got the uh, the all day breakfast made by Wayfarer. What have you got, Polly? Vet chili and rice. Veggie chili and rice, and uh, ready to eat hot or cold. Always important to check that. But I suppose I'll get in touch as soon as I've been fed and I'm full. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. So that is lunch and a little relax. The chilut done, and uh, we've got two more pike, uh, two more hilltops to go, two more peaks to hit. And um, wayfarers, lovely, lovely food, hot or cold. Not that I've had it hot, but not really a lot. Not really a lot in the bag. How did you find yours? It was delicious. It was delicious. Anything else? Just delicious? No? Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it had a kick to it, actually. Ah, a little bit of spice. That's good news. But yeah, chilled out by the town. Almost had a snooze, decided that was a bad idea. I wasn't allowed to have a snooze. <laughs> what can I say, I'm a workhorse. Um, so yeah, now we're heading up to Bow, yep. climbing Bowfell and then Esk Pike and then down to Angleton. So, onwards to Angleton. Let's see what we find. So, made it up to Bowfell. And it is incredible. That view over towards Scarfell Pike and Scarfell through that valley and all that atmosphere. So much atmosphere. I'm definitely going to get my camera out and get some daytime shots. Um, what I do want to do though is I want to try and find some interest in the foreground. And I need a little bit less atmosphere. When I was walking across to here and I was like, yes, I want to get a shot of this. There was the perfect amount of atmosphere. But now... A little bit too much but i'm gonna watch leave you watching this see if it turns out right give me a shout if it does thumbs up and all that and uh i'm gonna go and grab my camera and isn't that almost perfect I just need that peak to come out that little bit more. Handheld shot, same as last week's vlog. Forgot my tripod, didn't I? So, F11. In fact, I'm gonna go to F8, so I have a nice fast shot speed. I've got it on auto focus. I've got my vibration control turned off. I'm gonna have a little look. I think this shot is a landscape shot. I'm gonna focus. On the mountain. And what I really like about this shot, so if you look at it just here, I've got this lovely bit of light there and then that leads your eye up into Scarfell Pike and the atmosphere is lovely and I've underexposed slightly so that there's more of a contrast between the shadows and them highlights so it tells more of a story, adds to atmosphere and it's just a beautiful scene. And check that out. So I think I'm going to carry on shooting here for a little bit longer. I told you I was going to do some photography. Not just walking and hiking. Not just walking and hiking. But it's hard to go past that shot. It's blooming beautiful, isn't it? It's 
So we have made it onto Esk Pike. Almost called, wanted to call it Eskdale, but Eskdale is not here. That is in the North Yorkshire, on the East Coast, not the uh, West Coast. West Coast, East Coast. Um, it's pretty spectacular. You've got Skiddaw, Keswick, Derwent Water over in that direction. You've got Coniston over in that direction. You've got the sea in this direction, a beautiful river that I'm definitely going to get a photo of. And it's just mind blowing. How have you found today? It's been amazing. Woman of few words, it's been <laughs> amazing. So I'm quite liking the way it's dark into them clouds. I like that. And I don't want to change that. But I quite like the valley as well, so. So I'm shooting on an F F5, ISO 100, on 200th of a second. So the first shot that I've just taken, I quite like the way it's leading in from the right hand side and coming through the center. But I know there's quite a lot of negative space on either side, which might work and it might just kind of ruin it. But then this shot that I'm getting now, I like the way, again, the river leads in from the right hand side, but them rocks on the bottom left hand side, I don't think they work too well. It is still a beautiful shot, and if I had a tighter lens, I'd probably go in tighter. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go into a 5-4 crop, and then see if that's working better for me. See, now that mist's come in a bit too thick now, and I think the shot has been lost. And the two images I've captured so far today, I'm not sure if they're gonna turn into black and whites because of the time of day they were captured, or whether they're gonna stay colored because I've chosen quite sultry times to capture them. So the, the colors are not super vibrant. It's not like all, like full on daytime photography. But the images have turned out really well. And I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It isn't my usual style. It's a little bit more adventure based than photography based. But you got to love the Lake District, especially with the long days of summer and the ever changing weather. Right, I think now it's time to set off to our, uh, our overnight location down on uh, Angleton. Um, but yeah. Thank you for staying with me and uh, coming along for this adventure. Fingers crossed, a good sunset tonight. Fingers crossed. Right, I'll see you down at Angleton. You can't see it. Angleton just over here. Nice flat pitch. I think it's time for some food. Food, set up the tent and then relax. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do any photography tonight. I might just sit and enjoy my evening um, but I'll let you know I'll let you know time to get pitched I'm going to go one two and uh, ta -da! Tent is done. Love pop up tents. So easy and convenient. A little bit damp from last night though. So I'm going to get the doors open and get air in. That is one stinky, stinky tent. Definitely going to get the air open, get some airflow, hopefully dry it out before tonight. I think now, food o'clock. So I'm not sure if this is totally sensible, but we have decided to go with two on the inside. Um, he has decided. I wanted to optimize. I wanted to save gas, saving the planet. You know, got to remember to saving the planet. But I've gone for spicy sausage and pasta, and Pauline has gone for? Veggie curry and rice. Ooh, veggie curry and rice. And then for dessert, 
we have got sticky toffee pudding and chocolate pudding just for good measure but I think I've decided uh, this is going to be the end of the vlog um, there has been a bit of photography so I can still call it a photography vlog it has definitely been more of an adventure vlog um, but it's late I'm tired I need food and yeah I think this is going to be goodbye from us so bye Hi. bye see you next week peeps else has to say and therefore all you'll have to talk about is your own conversation the same is true for people who think all the time that means when I use the word think talking to yourself sub vocal conversation the constant uh, chit chat of symbols and images and talk and words inside yourself